so here we have this brick with metal rails type of railing um, the distance from edge to edge of the pillars is about uh, I think 5 feet center to center is 5 feet 8 inches the thickness of the brick below is 8 inches and it's 2 feet high it's the main posts are 4 feet high with a cap that is 2 inches thick of dimensions 16 inches by 12 inches right um, so this is basically what we're trying to achieve here so let's begin so I'm in the in a typical Revit template architectural template Imperial you can use metric if you need to and we'll just start with the railing tool and do an offset about four feet oh no sorry two inches This, this is just a typical handrail that comes out of the box for it. I'm using 2019 by the way. Um, I did this part. I just want this off the edge because my pulls may overlap the floor. So instead of editing the boundary of the floor, Let's bring it back a bit. Let's look at this in south elevation. So this is your reading. And I will stay in this view. And the end results has to look like this. So there are a couple of components. This top, these four reels here, they are in Revit. This comes with Revit, the outer debug. These are inch and a half circular metal reels. But the bottom part doesn't come so we will have to create a profile to create this and we will have to create this post as well so first of all let us edit this and duplicate it and we will name it um, brick and metal fence you can name it anything you want um, I just name it for that and let's change what we could change right now before we start going to the family editor uh, we're using the top rail now based on this the height <coughs> the height of this this is the top rail here the height of this will be 4 feet minus 6 inches which is 3 foot 6 inches so we put 3.5 feet and the type as I told you before is a circular inch and a half pipe okay okay so change that so now to go into the other type again look at the baluster placement when I press the down selector we don't have the type here it doesn't come with Revit, we have to create it. Um, same thing here for all the intermediate, the start posts, corner posts, and posts. It doesn't come with Revit. So let's go into the family. So you create a new family. Um, and it's going to be. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm missing something. Profile, linear, generic, electrical, column, balusta. So you can find a balusta or balusta post. I'll use a balusta post. So in the 
reference to the above view you create some some reference planes two vertical on either sides of the center and two horizontal we type u and or you could go into manage project units let's change this to decimal inches that's easier to work with use the dimension tool snap oh, this is pretty big use the quality text here to, to make them equal distance but I want to change the scale to probably inch and a half or even three inch so it's, it doesn't the text doesn't take up most of the um, the screen um, go back to the dimension tool Alright, so select the dimension and select, sorry, I'm going too fast, select create parameter and we'll call this W1, it's a type, it's a uh, type of parameter which is a length, press OK and we do the same thing for the horizontal portion equality overall dimension create a parameter we call it w2 press ok now based on the, the column dimensions it's one feet by one foot four right so we will do the same so if you go into the family types we change w1 to 16 which is 16 inches and w2 to 12 and apply okay so just drag this across select and just drag it across let's get these dimensions out of the way so this is the, the column so in the left view now you have the baluster height as 30 inches we wanted at 48 inches or 4 feet so I'm just going to move this up and go back into family types and change the baluster height to 4 feet 48 inches apply ok that's fine we're not going to use this top of post we're just going to use top um, into the reference level we're going to create an extrusion so create extrusion and I will use the rectangle to alter the draw menu and just snap the dimension lines am i missing something yes this is off so let's use the align tool S snap on the grid the reference plane then snap on the sketch line and snap and lock it in place press the check mark go into the left view and use the same align tool to select the top and snap to it and lock it in place we want to apply a material to this so select the extrusion under the materials click on the button and select new parameter and we'll call it post material Okay. Let's save this. You can put you can save it anyway, anywhere that you want to save it. I will save it right here and I will call it um brick post. Let's 
save and let me just create a family type so I'll create a new family type and we're going to call it um, P12 by 16 apply ok I'm going to save that now we we'll need to create the pair cap which is this here on top now if you notice that the pair cap has a bevel edge uh, sorry it has a um, what's the proper name for this uh, fillet edge round edge and it's three inches of the the edge offset of the the post um, before I do that if I go back into the post family editor go into the reference level when I'm looking at this from the top view I would like to see this as hidden because the post will be blocking it so I go into annotate use symbolic line use um, uh, projection I guess also show uh, it doesn't come it doesn't come with the hidden line annotate symbolic line how about cut what does cut look like nope Okay, for now, we just start. So let's first create the pair cap. So we'll go back into the file, new family, and this time it's going to be a generic model. And it's the same process reference plane. This as well, I want to change the units. UN is the shortcut for units. Change it to decimal inches. Let's call this a uh, small w. So I'll call it A. I'll call this B. And let's create a material cap material. And this is a material. Let's create, oops, we're going to the left view, the reference plane, this cap has to be offset at a height, so we'll just call this H, now it doesn't matter what the dimension I'm using because it's all going to be hosted on the post, so I will just show you how to do a nested family and how to tie it back to the original family so going back to the reference level actually in the left just name this top so in the reference level we create the extrusion so change the word plane by setting it to the top reference plane same process as the post now, I went offside here, but we could always fix that by aligning the sketch line to the reference plane and locking it in place. 
we want to fillet the edges by giving it a radius of 4 inches. If when you press the fillet, then the radius is different, just change it to 4 inches or whatever you feel comfortable with. We want the extrusion end to be 2 inches. You can't see it because of view range, but if you look at the front, there it is. If you look at the 3D view. There it is. This have to link this back to the material that we created earlier. Um, in the reference plane, now this has to be three inches on all sides. So let's create a reference plane. Actually, now that I think about it, let's delete these and create new reference planes. And tie them three inches. This way will make my job a little easier. So we select the reference plane, change it to 3. Same thing here. Do it for all four, all four reference planes. And lock each dimension into place. Um, let's delete these equal, uh, equality signs as well. That's not so just the internal reference planes, and this we will call it a, uh, and this we will call B. And now we create front. We edit this extrusion. Let's make sure that it's everything's still in place. That's fine. Right. And then let me annotate. Go to symbolic line. Does it have hidden lines? Yes. So we go to hidden lines. So actually headline projection and use this the rectangle tool to snap to the interior reference plane lines and lock them into place. I'll save this. save this as a tap here tap. Save. Now we want to load this into the post family. So we load into the brick post. Let's modify that. So in the 3D view font shader. We go to create component. Let's place it anywhere in space. Now, as you can tell, it's bigger than this. So, what you have to do is select the peer cap, edit it and tie these dimensions back into the post dimension. So A should be equal to W1 and 
and B should be equal to W2 and H should be equal to the baluster height and this one we just create a material parameter called cap material that's okay let's apply oops apply ah so now we have to align it to the center of the post so we go to the reference plane and as you can tell you can see the dash line showing the post below so we go to align select the reference plane select the middle of that and lock in place select the middle horizontal reference plane select the middle of that and lock in place let's look at this so this is what we will try to get and this is what we achieve so GD is graphical display I want to see smooth lines so apply okay we will save this as a new family type save as family and we're going to call it brick post with cap options Change this to 381. So let's load this into the project. So now we select the relay that we 